Hello YouTube, in this video I'll be unboxing and showing you how to set up the GameSir X1 Baldock for uh, Android and iOS. So I just got this in the mail today and before we open the box let's go ahead and look around the packaging. As you can see GameSir um, showing the picture of the uh, Baldock station along with the uh, smartphone um, showing rules of survival and it has some features so obviously they're advertising that this is uh, to connect to your keyboard and mouse um, has marksmanship enhancement long battery life and a logless connection and on the other side just says games to just play and then on the back we have the picture of the device with the phone um, sitting on the cradle and then it shows you that it has two USB ports to connect both your mouse and keyboard. So let's go ahead and open it up. Uh, so here is the device itself but first we have I believe this is a yep this is a micro USB charging cable so this is used to charge the battle dock station so um, although it doesn't come with a, a removable battery so you'll use this cable to charge up your uh, battle dock station and here is the uh, device Let's see what else we get. And inside we have the instruction manual. So it just goes through about the uh, product itself and just showing you the uh, um, the overview and then how to use the battle dock station. So uh, has the instructions for Android and iOS which I'll show you later in this video. Right, so here is the device, this is the peel off the plastic. So here is the device, as you can see I've got this in the uh, silver version but you can also get it in uh, the gold blush finish. As you can see right now it is in the closed position so let's just open it up. So here is the uh, Baldock station uh, completely open. So as you can see, um, I believe the material, most of the material is made out of just hard plastic. So this base here is made out of hard plastic along with this little cradle. But I believe, yep, okay, so this back area is actually metal. So this is the only material that is metal but the rest of the uh, pieces are plastic but has this uh, metal finish paint book to it. So as you can see on the front we have micro USB charging port this is to charge your uh, power dock station and on the side here we have two USB ports so you connect um, I, don't, I don't one of them doesn't really matter but you connect both your um, keyboard and mouse and then on the bottom we have these rubber feet for the uh, station to grip on to the table and then it just tells you a bit about the uh, battle dock station and the capacity it has a 3000 milliamp hour battery inside and then here on the front we have four LED lights so this tells you how much battery you have so um, Depending on how much battery you have will depend on how many lights will blink and then here we have the uh, Connection button so this connects via Bluetooth and Then we have a little LED Indicator telling you whether the device is connected or not and then here we have these he uh, these little Handles here to adjust the tightness I've got my phone here. It's a pretty large phone. This is the Galaxy S9 Plus so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to lay it on the cradle 
And as you can see, it does a really good job of um, just keeping the phone in place. So yeah, it's, it's a bit slipping, but I haven't tightened it enough. So I'm just going to tighten it a bit. And yeah, there you go. So as you can see, the um, the weight of the phone is not impacting the um, the overall battle dock gaming station. And yeah, it sits very comfortably. There's padding here for the phone to rest on. And um, yeah, so it's a really large phone, but the uh, battle dock station has enough space for the uh, phone to rest on. Now I'm going to show you how to set up your battle dock station so you can get right into uh, gaming on your mobile phone. All right, so in order to set up your battle dock station, um, I'm going to be using an Android phone for this setup, but this also works on iOS. Unfortunately, I won't be able to show you how to do it on iPhone or, or iOS because um, unfortunately I don't have one. But the, um, the process is a bit different for both Android and iOS, but uh, the results should be similar. So with Android, um, in order to set up your phone, what you're going to need to do is firstly, you're going to go into your settings page and then you're going to go into about phone and then you're going to click on software information and then what you're going to do is you're going to hit the build number until you get this so you just put in your password and then you have a prompt saying developer mode has been enabled so you're going to go back into your settings page so down here you have developer options so you can hit that and then you're going to scroll all the way down until you see this USB debugging and you're going to turn it on and then it gives you this prompt just hit OK and then there you go so USB debugging has been turned on and this will allow you to connect to your battle dock station so next step is you're going to go into this website here so you can either click the link down in the description below or you can use the QR code that come that came with your uh, instruction manual scan it and then it will take you to this page here so this is the uh, page for Android so you're going to download this app called game Sir world app so this is for um, if you have an Android phone but if you have an iOS phone or sorry if you have an iPhone you, you will download this uh, happy chick emulator app and then uh, for whatever reason if you're stuck um, there's uh, instructions or tutorial guide on how to download uh, the app using for iOS for both iOS and Android so what you're going to do is you're going to download the page and after you download the page which I have right here you're going to hit install so um, apparently for whatever reason the app wants access to all of these um, or wants to gain access to all of this but uh, I'll just hit next for now and install but what we're going to do is we're going to change uh, that permission once we've installed the app so I'll be right back alright so the app has been successfully installed so we're going to hit done so before I'm going to open the app what I want to do is I'm going to change some of the permissions so we're going to hit go into app permissions and we're going to turn off some certain things so I'm going to turn off telephone so I'm just going to hit deny anyway SMS microphone location contacts camera calendar and body sensors so the only thing I've turned on was storage and that's because it needs to save all the key mappings into the phone's memory. All right, so once uh, you've installed the app, so you're going to see this icon here called Game Server World. So you're going to hit on that. And then it's just asking to open float window permission. So um, we're just going to go into the Game World Sir app. I'm just going to skip all this. So we're into the app now. So what we're going to do now is on the bottom right tab here, we there's this tab called Game Search Spirit. So we're going to hit, we're going to click on that, 
and then we're just gonna go into game so spirit okay so I have my game so x1 uh, station here and what I'm going to do is I'm going to press that uh, button here to turn it on as you can see a blue LED light has turned on so right now it's searching for a device and in order for this to work you need to have your Bluetooth turned on so make sure you have Bluetooth turned on and after that we're going to hit connect So Bluetooth pairing request, pairing with game so X1, I'm going to hit OK. And then uh, it should be connected. So as you can see, the game so X1 is connected. So next step, what you're going to need to do is you need a uh, your USB charging cable. So we're, so we're going to connect the uh, Baldock station to the phone. So let's go ahead and do that. So I'm going to connect to the phone. And then this is the prompt you want. Allow USB debugging. So we're gonna hit always allow from this computer. Okay, so you should get two of these uh, categories uh, connected. So if the pairing has been connected successfully, and now we can plug in our mouse and keyboard. Alright, so to see if our game sir app is working, what we're going to do is we're going to grab a keyboard and mouse. So to see if our game sir app is working with the phone, I just have a regular wireless keyboard and mouse, and uh, this is uh, a USB that connects to both of these devices. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm going to connect the uh, I'm going to connect my mouse and keyboard. Uh, to test out if our buttons are working, what we're going to do is we're going to go into Gamepad and then Gamepad Test. We're going to hit on that. And then this should pop up. So this should pop up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit my left and right mouse button. As you can see, both my left and mouse button are working along with my middle button. As you can see with my middle button, it actually brings up the cursor. So usually when you're in game, you can bring up the you can bring up the cursor by hitting the uh, middle button right here. And then scroll wheel up and down is working, and then my mouse motion is working. And to see if the keyboard's working, I'm just gonna hit random buttons. As you can see, the green uh, squares are lighting up. And we're just going to hit the Windows button, Shift, Control, Alt. So as you can see, it's working very successful successfully. The buttons are responding instantly. So let's go ahead and get into a game. Okay, as you can see right now, I have a little blue icon on my top left of the screen. So if I hit on that, as you can see, it gives me different options. So you can show or hide your... Um, your key bindings so if you show you can see I've configured or all, all my keyboards my keys have been configured but you can actually uh, if you don't like to set up for whatever reason you can customize your own um, keyboard bindings so you can move around and then change whatever you want and then after what after you've changed to your liking you can press save as give it a name and then it should be uh, in here unfortunately I haven't done it but I'll do it right now so let's pretend I've um, I've uh, changed all my keys around and um, it's to my liking I uh, this is what I wanted so I'm just going to call it PUBG I'm going to hit OK and then it should be in your input config so right here in your local configs here is the file or here is the uh, key mapping that I've saved in and then I can just click on that um, 
So yeah, uh, but you can also use the cloud backup if, uh, um, so it stays in the cloud and you can just uh, restore wherever you want. So the good thing about this is once you delete the, if you delete the app or the game and you reinstall it, you can, uh, uh, because the local config has already been installed into your friend's memory, you can load it back up and you won't have to hassle around with uh, your key maps. So I'm just going to turn this off right now. So uh, obviously at the beginning it is a little, uh, it is a little uh, pain in the ass to, um, uh, you know, um, do all the key mappings because you do have to. It's almost like a trial error where you have to make sure that it's uh, the key maps is up to your satisfactory. But after that, um, after you do all your key mappings and you're satisfied with, you know, all the um, all the settings, um, you won't have to do it ever again. So that's the good thing. So what I'm going to do is. Um, Alright, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into the training mode and we're just going to test out our um, our keyboard and mouse controls. So as you can see right now we're in the game and I can move around with my mouse as you can see. So you don't have to hold any buttons, the mouse is just, you can just move around with your mouse and my field of view is moving without having to you know hold or click any buttons and then if you want to bring out the cursor all you have to do all you have to do is just hit the uh, middle wheel button and then the cursor will be right here so you can you know if you let's say for example you're in your inventory and you want to you know drag stuff or you know get rid of your loot or whatever uh, the cursor automatically uh, pulls up when you're in your inventory and then if you just want to get out you just I'm just hitting tab and then you don't have to press the middle button it does it automatically for you but you know for whatever reason you know if let's say if you're looting and you know you want to uh, pick up a specific item you can use your mouse and then just do that easy so I'm moving around with my WASD button I can bring up tab to bring up my inventory, hit tab again to close my inventory. I can hit E to lean left or right and then hit uh, Q as well, Q, E to lean left or right. And yeah, so let's just uh, do a little demo. So let's say for example, I want the, uh, let's see, let's do the M24. And we're just gonna hit some, uh, get some bullets, and then uh, let's say I want the compensator. So I'm just gonna hit my middle uh, wheel button, bring up the cursor, I'm gonna grab that compensator. Um, let's get the cheap pack, might as well, and quick extend draw mag, and then I just need to hit R to reload. So I'm just going to hit R, and there you go. So let's just bring out the scope. Okay, so if we want to scope, we can just hit our right mouse button to scope in, and then we can aim with our mouse, and then hit fire with our uh, left click button. There you go. So, um, what I can do is I can go into settings or actually import config and then with the cloud backups I can uh, log in and then use my own cloud backup setup. So you do have to play around with the uh, controls but after a while, um, yeah, after a while you won't have to play around with the controls, everything is set for you and all you have to do is just load up the, uh, just fire on the um, game so dock battle dock station and everything's automatically set up for you so I hope you guys enjoy this um, hopefully it's a helpful guide and a helpful setup uh, thank you for watching and yeah thank you